what is going on beautiful people welcome back it's your boy blue this is air hauler 2 and this is my company blue arrow today i'm going to show you how to create your own ai scheduled passenger route so let's get straight to it i'm going to load company once you get to the, your office we're going to go to the top menu and we're going to actually start off at ad hoc flight today's video is actually about creating routes for the ai but first we need to do a little bit of research to find out what is actually the best uh, most strategic and profitable route to do. So we're gonna go to ad hoc flight. Now, uh, you're gonna need to have your plane at the airport that you want to depart from or you want your AI to depart from. Now, one of my hubs is in San Francisco and I have my A321 also in San Francisco, which I also have the type rating for. Now, you don't have to do this step, but this will help you to have, make more profitable routes. I'm gonna hit okay. We're gonna depart from San Francisco. And now I've already done some research beforehand to find out what seems to be the best route for me. So uh, I'm just gonna show you two examples, all right? So let's try first off, we're gonna try Dallas, uh, Texas, KDFW. I'm gonna click on use selected. And now you're gonna see this is our passenger created, or sorry, this is our ad hoc as if I was gonna actually do this flight myself. Now this aircraft has about 202 seats, has premium, premium economy and regular economy. My passenger reputation is maxed out. So I can basically max out my economy and my premium economy, economy prices and get about 189 people on board at $168,000 per leg, which is pretty darn good. Now the issue is this right here, estimated travelers per day on route 184. Now I have, a two, I have 202 seats. It's saying that I can do 189 on the first flight. So I'm even pulling travelers that they didn't expect to get. But the issue is if I have my AI flying this route, they're only gonna be able to do this route one time. Now I wanna make a passenger schedule that can run around the clock from morning to night. We're gonna need a lot more travelers willing to take this route throughout the day. So this actually does not work out for me. So we're gonna hit cancel. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna click on ad hoc flight again. I wish I didn't have to go through this whole process again, but you do. And so what I ended up finding was a route from San Francisco to Edmonton, C-Y-E-G. You can see it has an opening fee, all that stuff right there. Hit you select it. Now we see you have 645 past travelers per day. Now again, this depends on the plane you're flying on the route or how many planes you're flying on the route. Just do the math on your own. But as you can see here, we have a lot longer of a flight. It's 1,000 nautical miles. Duration is 164 minutes. Another thing to think about is each pilot can only fly a max of eight hours per day. So you're going to really have to kind of do some measuring and finding out, all right, so how many times can this pilot continue? Can he do the return leg back to San Francisco? Uh, will he be able to fly to Edmonton again? Or, you know, to kind of, it depends on your own thing. So we're going to raise these all the way up again. Another reason that I use the ad hoc passenger flight is because if you go into the create regular scheduled routes, you actually don't get as accurate of information here. So as I move here, or economy uh, tickets be $750 is a max. If I move it around, you can see it's actually showing me that here in the economy section, how many tickets I will sell if I were to fly right now with this. So right now, again, my passenger reputation is maxed out. So I can, it seems that I can actually max this out. Uh, and the same with premium economy is probably going to be pretty close to the same, but you can't, you don't actually get these estimates if you're doing it in the scheduled passenger area. Use create ad hoc passenger flight first to do your research, find out how much it's going to cost you, how much you could potentially make here if you were to do the flight yourself and then cancel the route, go back to regular routes. This will take you to your master page of all the routes you've created. Now this may be empty if you don't have any routes at all. And then you're going to go up to fleet aircraft if you have multiple fleet. If you don't, it doesn't really matter. For me, I have a lot of fleet, so I need to actually filter this down to just seeing the A321 routes that I have, which I have none at the moment. Now, all we're going to do is go to the top over here to add sector. Each flight, each leg is a sector. We're going to click on sector. It's going to say this aircraft will depart from San Francisco. Please choose a destination. That is going to be now because of our research, that is going to be Edmonton. I'm going to click on that. You selected. Now this brings us to the exact same screen. The only difference is 
you're just gonna see like basically the 100% utilization. If you were to have 100% passengers on that flight, that is what it's gonna be. But this number would actually not be accurate. But everything else is pretty much the same. I'm gonna add purchase services, a pretty long flight that does actually add to your own direct operating cost. So you can always take that off. Um, I think maybe it helps you get a little bit more reputation per flight. I personally, it doesn't really matter for me that much right now. Also, something I skipped over up here is the time of day you're starting. Again, now this is in Zulu time. I personally usually start all of my flights around 11 a.m. on Monday morning Zulu. So that is super early. It's like five, four o'clock in the morning. It's ridiculously early, uh, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't seem to really care what time you depart in the game. It doesn't really seem to affect the ticket prices or the amount of passengers that will fly. So we'll do that. Then you just hit add sector. Now it's gonna pop up on our screen here in just a second. There it is. Uh, now next we want to create our return flight now the cool thing is you can actually make this a connection you can say all right i'm gonna go to edmonton and then i want to make another route to vancouver or to Juneau, Alaska, or Missoula, wherever. It doesn't have to be a return flight, but in my case, I'm gonna make a return flight back to my hub. So I'm gonna right click on this, and the easy way to do this is click on schedule return sector. Now this, I believe the layover is only 30 minutes in between, or sorry, the turnaround is 30 minutes between each flight. So I'm gonna hit schedule return sector. That's gonna add the exact same details but going the other other direction and you can see here even going back we have an estimated travelers per route uh per day is 516. this is a really good route you want to find routes that have a lot of people going both ways if i were to find out that the route going from edmonton back to san francisco was like 150 then i would most likely make a different leg i would not return to san francisco and i would fly from edmonton to somewhere else and then to san francisco you get me um you really because you really don't because what will happen is the first flight of the day you'll get a decent amount of passengers on board the second flight of the day the second time they do that flight there's going to be zero and you're just going to basically pay this twenty two thousand dollar operating cost for flying nobody to that destination so keep that in mind so now you can see here turnaround time 30, uh, 30 minutes estimated boarding time 34 minutes so we can hit add sector here and again this is also for monday so if you hit return uh, sector it automatically adds it to the, the closest time that it could actually fly so we'll take off at 1100 zulu land at 1345 zulu the next flight will take off at 1430 and it'll land back in san francisco at 1715 so now from there, that it's basically it. So what we're gonna do now is basically, basically gonna duplicate this for the rest of the day. All you gotta do is right click on this and hit schedule return to sector. Now, if you wanna go somewhere else, you could do San Francisco to Edmonton, Edmonton to San Francisco, and then say, all right, I wanna go San Francisco this time to Albuquerque, and it's Albuquerque back to San Francisco, and then do that. You could do, I mean, you could kind of mix it up as much as you can. Again, try it out and see what works best for you, what makes the most profit, because sometimes some of those routes may not ask for a lot of passengers, so you might not want to schedule as many uh, flights to that location. So we're just going to go back and forth. I'm going to schedule return flight. Next one happens at Monday, 6 p.m. Zulu. I'm going to add sector, leave all the same prices and ticket, all that stuff is going to say the same for me. Or basically, usually for me, I go ahead and just copy and paste these, or I should say return sector over and over until it gets to around, you'll see it, it pop up as like Tuesday here in a second, which it does here, here we land Tuesday at 0015. Now again, this is Zulu time, so it depends on where you're flying. In San Francisco, it's technically still gonna be Monday at that time, but then that's, that's Zulu. So I'm gonna hit schedule return again, and we could probably fit in, let's see, we could probably fit in a couple more sectors in here so this goes to cyeg this would be my last one right here so schedule return sector we'll finish it off in san francisco and that'll pop up here and that'll land at tuesday at 07 15. now that's gonna be my last flight of the day i'll pick up again with the, the next crew or whatever at 11. so speaking of crew so now we need somebody to fly this route this is just monday Right, this is just Monday. So what I do before I duplicate this, because I can duplicate all of this to match Tuesday through Sunday, the exact same schedule. But before I do that, I want to make sure I have enough crew um, to do this flight. So you see they're all in red. And the reason it's all in red is because we don't have anybody flying these planes. Well, I've already hired, uh, I have four pilots who are type rated in the A321 ready to go in San Francisco. So let's see if four is enough, we might need six. Um, but again, in the A321, it's a two crew, so you need a pilot, you need a 
co-pilot. Some planes may only need one pilot. It depends on the plane you're flying and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna do them hit right click here and it's assign crew. Now it's gonna say you are required for, to have three crews for this schedule. I just told you I have four pilots. What it means by crew is it means by, so a crew in an A321 will be two people. So each crew will have two people. That means I need two more pilots to make this happen. But I wanna show you what it looks like before I go ahead and hire two more pilots for this. I'm gonna hit okay. And I have my man Dwayne The Rock Johnson <laughs> and Shakira out here uh, to be my first crew. That'd be crew number one. Crew two will be uh, Jude Cavatage and Isla Bryan. I'm gonna hit save on that. And now again, I don't have anybody else. I hit cancel, but it'll still populate this here. It should still populate that with the crews that I already did. So here it is. So now you can see here on Monday from San Francisco to Edmonton, we have Dwayne Johnson and Shakira and then on the way back. So this is actually perfect. This is, this is ideal for me to have one crew go out and back. That way, whenever they get back, the pilot's location is San Francisco. It's my hub. It's not Edmonton. And so when they get back, it's going to switch over to Jude Cabotage and Isla Bryant flying from San Francisco and back. So this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. So now I just need to go and hire me a new A321, A321 pilot. Hold on. All right. Now I have two new A321 pilots. You can see I actually have all my pilots labeled by what they fly. It just makes it easier because sometimes it's hard for me to find. So I got David and Isabel Rice, our newest pilots to Blue Arrow Royal Family. And now we're going to move back over to our passenger routes. We're going to right click on this one more time and hit assign crew. You'll see that the old crew is still there. So we just hit save, save. And now we should have two more capable pilots. David will be our, um, you know what, let's make the female. Let's make the female the captain and then we'll make David the uh, the uh, first officer. So go ahead, save, and now that's gonna populate all of, the, all of this. So again, it's perfect at eight hours a day. So it's 165 minutes, which is just under three hours. And then with the turnaround time, four hours with turnaround. So that's probably perfect. So now we have Monday plan. We have six pilots ready to go, ready to fly the A321 from San Francisco to Edmonton. Right click on Monday, go to copy sector to other days, not copy day to others copy sector to other days and then click on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Again, I don't fly on Sundays or at least my pilots don't fly on Sundays. Hit OK and here in just a second you're going to see as it's going to pop up the exact same schedule or exact same flight from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now we have to do the same thing uh, one by one for the rest of the day of the time slots. Uh, you could do the copy day to others, but I've had bugs with that where it hasn't really worked correctly. So I just do them one by one and uh, and just do it like this. It's just it's pretty simple to make sure I get it done right. I don't know why that thing pops up every time. So it's going to do this a few times. And then when you get to uh, where the Zulu actually crosses into the next day, you're going to see here when we click on copy section to other days, it actually shows Wednesday as the first available day. So we're going to go all the way to Sunday this time and Monday will actually be the day off. And that's it. So now we have our entire schedule for the entire week. The AI will fly these routes at these times every day, all week long. So I, I'm, I'm about to go on vacation. So when I get back, I'm going to be rich because of this route. I should make about, what, 140000 per leg, um, which would be pretty good. Definitely making a lot of money. So now to get all these red slots filled in. It's going to right click here one more time. Hit assign crew. It's going to be the exact same thing. Just hit save, save, and save. And it'll copy all those names throughout the entire flight schedule in order as well. So again, this is pretty darn cool. So you can see Dwayne Johnson comes back to work every morning at 11 a.m. Zulu, um, and then the schedule starts out and it ends with Isabel and David Adequate. So that is how easy, uh-oh, something's going on here. I think we have a time that's, uh, actually we have a duplicate. I have seen this happen a few times. I don't know why it happens, but we do have a duplicate here. So you might wanna double check on your schedule from time to time you see it says sequence so what i would do is i would just basically delete this sector and uh get rid of that actually no here we got we got shakira here who uh so what's up with this one this is 11 a.m friday san francisco to edmonton and then they don't return back to san francisco for some reason so yeah i see why now because that, that look at this time so wow so this is all screwed up friday is completely messed up so i would delete friday all the schedule for friday all right, now I have all of Friday re-inputted, and I'm going to go back and assign crew once again, and it should, in theory, fix it. So I'm going to hit save, save, 
and save. And we should see this populate with pilot. And yes, now it's working. So yeah, there was some kind of issue with the timing in there. If you ever have timing overlapping, it will show you in like a red bar. But anyways, that is how you create passenger routes. So now if we go to our map view, you will see that we now have a flight, which is our longest so far, up to Edmonton. And now you just basically sit back and rack in the cash. There's definitely a lot of money that can be made using passenger routes. Honestly, in my opinion, and as a tip, when you're first starting, it's better to start out with cargo routes Get some money saved up so you can get a nice passenger plane and then you can get into making some AI passenger routes that can get you some really good residuals in the background while you do your own thing. But anyways, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. Until next time, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, or give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time, next video. I'm out.